Hello, thank you for joining me today for my Try It Out Tuesday series. I am going to be trying out a new stamp set. Well, new to me, it's from the Greeting Farm and it's called Scaredy Cats. Cute little stamp sets with a adorable little kitty cat images all dressed up for Halloween. Fun little sentiments. So, we're going to make a card. I'm going to stamp the little kitty using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I'm coloring in this cute little guy with my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. Now I'm still learning to blend with my with these new markers, but um, work in progress, I guess. I guess I'm just getting used to the, the colors. Um, you know, sometimes we, we get the hang of, well, I was so used to my little cheapies, I'm still figuring out the blending process of the Spectrum Noir markers. But anyway, I just colored in my cute little kitty with some light browns kind of made it into a little tabby and then I'm coloring in his little Batman outfit with my grays and blacks and so he's all done now and we're gonna cut him out I'm just gonna fussy cut him out and that's a cute little cute little dressed up kitty cat now we're gonna work on our panel for our panel we're gonna be doing a lot of die cutting so for my stash I have this polka dotted orange glittery paper I'm going to take a rectangle die that's a little bit smaller than a standard size card base and I'm going to place that on my my pattern paper there and I want to cut out a window so I'm just kind of figuring out what size circle I would need or actually what I would like <laughs> so I think this one's going to work out great I'm just going to secure that with some washi tape now for my stash also I have a piece of this gray cardstock now it's like a medium gray. I'll put a piece of black cardstock to it to where you can see the color difference. But I'm going to take a small circle die and I'm going to cut out actually five of these little circles. And then for my stash I have this tree trunk. It actually is like a set but I'm just going to use the tree trunk. I'm going to place it on that gray cardstock as well and I'm going to cut that out. And I did go ahead and cut out a, a piece of diagonal striped pattern paper and some masking paper as well. Now, I wanted, I wanted this panel to be a little bit um, narrower and so I'm taking my tape runner and I'm going to adhere that pattern paper just over the right side of the circle. I'm using my grid mat as um, reference so I can keep it straight. I'm going to trim off the bottom and then I'm going to pull out my paper trimmer and just trim that other side off. That way my my panel is not as as wide and I can adhere those circles. Now um, I wanted a very large scallop and I don't have a super large um, scallop a die or a punch and so circles work really good to make a scallop and five fit perfectly on this panel. I'm just going to use my tape runner and adhere them to the back and I don't want them peeking out the inside of my circle so I just trimmed them down a little bit. Then I started at the ends and kind of worked my way towards the middle. That way it's nice and even. Lovely. Now I did um, cut out a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock that's right behind there. I'm going to take my pencil and, and draw the outline of the circle. That way I know where to use my distress inks because I'm going to create a background on that panel there. Lovely. Now I'm taking the the masking paper. I had just cut out a circle in it and I'm taking the negative space of it and I'm going to place that on top of my my panel there. I'm going to create a moon and I'm going to use some squeezed lemonade distress ink. I wanted my moon to be really vivid and so this works out really well. I'm going to remove that and then I'm going to place the positive space of my mask right on top. That way when I create my background my moon still vivid. Okay, for my background I'm going to use some um, blueprint sketch, some seedless preserves and some black soot and I'm just going to blend it. Now you can see I kind of got it towards the edge of my panel and I didn't want that to show so I'm just taking a baby wipe and wiping it but the more I, I wiped it the I think it ruined my paper which wasn't good. I'm going to remove my mask and you can see that the moon is really nice and vivid but um, the edge on that wasn't clean it was driving me crazy so we're going to fix that later on. 
I just added some water droplets to activate that ink, give it a little bit of texture back there. And then wipe that off. Lovely. Now I'm going to take my paper trimmer and trim off the edges. Oh, before I did that, <laughs> boy, I do that a lot, don't I? <laughs> I'm just taking my multimedia mat and I'm going to glue down my little tree trunk there. I want it um, over the moon a little bit. I think that effect looks really fun. Now I'm going to take my paper trimmer and cut off those messy edges there. And this was the easy fix. I'm just going to add that panel to a piece of white cardstock that I had cut out. And then that way my I have nice clean edges. Easy fix. <laughs> okay, now we're going to stamp the sentiment. For this sentiment I chose, um, oh I'm getting ahead of myself again. Well, I'm just picking that black soot and gonna, I'm going to go around the inside edges of my circle. Usually I like to put a, a frame around it, but for this card I chose not to and this is a nice way to make a make your little circle stand out a little bit. Okay, now we're going to stamp sentiment. For this sentiment I'm chose, I chose So Cute It's Scary and then I'm also going to use the little itty bitty bat that's in the stamp set. I'm going to place that up there in the corner and I'm going to put my sentiment in the middle of that orange cardstock there. I'm just going to go in with my Versa, um, VersaFine ink because I am going to use, I'm going to use my Nuvo Jet Black Embossing Powder and I'm going to emboss my sentiment in my little bat. And there we go, looks cute. Okay. I'm going to place my little panel on top of my scenery there and I want to place the or I'm going to stamp the bat a few times on the inside of my scene. I'm going to use my anti-static powder tool and then um, I like the effect of the, of the bat over the moon. I think it looks really neat. So I'm going to stamp there with my VersaFine and then I'm going to stamp there. I was going to want one more time but then I thought two is plenty. It's okay. <laughs> Sometimes I go over and over, I kind of overdo it, overthink it, but I think two worked out just great. I'm just going to grab my heat tool and I'm going to melt that embossing powder. And I love how shiny it is against that matte background. Real fun. Next I have some jute, um, some gray jute cord. It's really thin so I doubled it up and it's the same color as those circles. I'm just going to wrap it around that stripe pattern paper there and then I'm going to tie a bow. Just love that. Just going to trim off the ends there. Gonna straighten out the bow a little bit. Love that. And then I'm just going to pop it over and then add some foam tape behind there. I'm going to lift that up and place that on my panel. And I think that looks really nice. Now we need to add our little scaredy cat, a little Batman kitty. I'm going to just pop, pop him up with some dimensional adhesive and place them right on the bottom there. And he looks so cute. To give that moon a little bit of shine, I'm going in with some Wingastella. And I'm going to go over the little Batman costume with the Wingastella as well. And then I'm going to grab my glossy accents and I'm going to go over the Batman costume. I want that to stand out. And with the glitter behind it, I just think that looks so neat. I did add drops or dots of um, white in my scenery with my white gel pen, but ended up not liking that. I'm just going to place that on my, my standard size card base. Now this color cardstock for my card base is about the same color as the kitty, so I think it went really well. And then here I'm just going to go over each of those white dots that I I, I made with my um, silver stickles. And that's it. That is my card for today. I hope this gives you uh, some ideas on how to make a cute little Halloween card. Thank you so much for stopping by guys. If you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up and if you're new, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you again real soon. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.